curious and leave different. It begins. Area 15 is a platform for innovation, for connection to people in a way that is so sorely missing today. That doesn't exist anywhere else. It's like going into another dimension. Let's throw the doors off this bunker, shall we? <laughs> Area 15 is thrilled to partner with Blue Loop in launching the Blue Loop Innovation Awards and the Area 15 Rise Awards. This collaboration is rooted in a shared philosophy to celebrate the project shaping the future of visitor attractions, location-based entertainment, and immersive experiences. These awards will hand the stage over to the ambitious, passionate individuals and companies leading the way in the industry and disrupting the status quo. Blue Loop is the source of information for the immersive entertainment industry. It's a must read for our entire team every day. Thank you to Charles and Rachel Reed and the entire Blue Loop team for this opportunity to be part of these awards. Now, let's find out who the winners are. In COVID, the winner is Christy Counteract. Christy Counteract products use patented CARE 222 UV light disinfection technology to significantly reduce pathogens like SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. And unlike all other UV technology, it may be used where people are present. Ask your favorite spaces if they use Christie Counteract with CARE 222. Because we all need to get back to the shared experiences we all crave. In digital, the winner is Wallace and Gromit, the big fix-up. To fix the city of Bristol, Wallace creates a new company and people are invited to help him on an adventure with lots of challenges. Glad to have you on board. Fixing Wallace's iconic rocket or the famous techno trousers, piloting planes. The adventure follows a three-act narrative that evolves over days and adapts the story to real-time events during 28 days. To truly merge the real world with the digital, we used Unity's AR packages and visual positioning systems that allowed our characters to be spatially aware, enabling them to hide under a coffee table or jump from a table to the ground. The adventure also allowed users to answer character Hello? phone calls and explore extended reality portals. 
For the story climax, we used an innovative new tool to 3D map an entire block of Bristol that allowed everyone to experience Wallace's hometown through an unprecedented immersive experience. In engagement, the winner is Chaperone. Museums are storytellers. That's what we do. We tell stories from objects. Here in this room, there are 3,500 objects representing 10,000 years of human history in North America. Every one of them has a story if we know how to draw it out. We created a suite of software called Chaperone, which forms the foundation of the Discovery Trail. It integrates cutting-edge display technologies, mobile device management, visitor information and location, and the museum's own rich data set to create a customised, curriculum-centric, age-specific Discovery Trail experience. One of the issues we have in the museums, every curator knows every object tells a story. In fact, it tells multiple stories. But how do you get from the object to the stories? It's really a much richer environment than a, than a museum has ever had before to tell stories based on objects. In Immersive, the winner is Omega Mart. In inclusion, the winner is Luna Farm Experience. In Interactive, the winner is Arctic Adventure.
Ice cores contain air bubbles, some of which are almost a million years old. By In places, the winner is Currents, Niagara's Power Transformed. In Spectacular, the winner is the all-new roof walk and zip line experience at Ferrari World Abu Dhabi. One small step for man. One giant leap for thrill seekers. Walk on the iconic red roof. Zip line through the world's tallest roller coaster loop. Find that Ferrari feeling. In Splash, the winner is Svalgarok Ride House. In storytelling, the winner is What a Workshop Unleashed, a fantastical film FX experience. What a Workshop Unleashed is a fantastical film FX experience where guests are guided through a reimagined version of our workshop. Creativity runs wild and the lines between imagination and reality have been seriously blurred. It was mind blowing. It just felt so surreal. I got goose bumps. <laughs> You're a kid again. You're allowed to dream. You're allowed to dream. I feel like you might not like boxes the way I once thought that you did. This is where I've hidden my secret door. 
fact, we've invented three original film concepts. A horror flick. A fantasy epic. And a sci-fi adventure. In sustainability, the winner is Clear Comfort's AOP Water Treatment. In technology, the winner is Face Pass Contactless Technology at Yass Theme Parks. In Thrills, the winner is Fly, world's longest and first launched flying coaster. Diese sagenhafte Kraft. Wir fühlen uns wie die Pioniere einer neuen Luftfahrt. Was auch immer uns erwartet, ich liebe dich. Danke für dieses große Abenteuer. And the best in show is Omega Mart. Congratulations. Omega, Omega, Omega Mart. Congratulations to all of the winners. And finally, we have the Area 15 Rise Awards. Area 15 has created the first ever Area 15 Rise Award to rec recognize like-minded visionaries pushing the boundaries of immersive entertainment and disrupting the status quo of the experience economy. 
this industry is in its infancy. There is so much talent, so many creative, boundary-pushing visionaries that are part of this new industry. We want to help this industry grow. We want to recognize excellence. We want people to realize how important storytelling, connection, the immersive entertainment space is. Area 15 is proud to recognize and celebrate all of the people who are part and all of the companies who are part of this new industry. The Area 15 Rise Awards are one small step to helping recognize how cool this space is. It was really exciting judging the Rise Awards. There were so many wonderful uh, submissions. But what was really interesting is were some of the themes that emerged. One was how technology was disrupting the process of creation, disrupting the process of, process of connection to the consumer. Another really interesting theme is green. You're starting to see more and more how the concept of green, sustainability, that thoughtfulness is actually coming into not only what the story is, but how it's designed, the materials that are being used. You also saw taking spaces that had been sort of left behind, abandoned, or in some cases historic, and putting a whole new overlay of story utilizing technology in the immersive entertainment space to bring to life, again, space that might not be usable before or that was presented one way from an historical context and then now being represented with this incredible frosting. The second place award goes to Coco Lab International, Echoes of Uxmal. This immersive experience is truly a disruptor, bringing state-of-the-art technology to ancient places. By integrating digital technology with physical places, today's creators are paying homage to the ancient world builders, the original storytellers. Si pones atención, podrás escuchar los ecos de relatos que quedaron guardados en estos muros, esperando a que alguien los descubra. The first place for the Area 15 Rise of World is World Builder Software Suite. World Builder Software Suite is a true disruptor. World Builder's virtual production tool uses technology to bring teams together from concept to creation. It's the first software of its kind fully designed within a game engine that can be used by everyone on a team to develop experiences at a fraction of the cost and in real time. They have altered the landscape for the experience economy and democratized the process of attraction design and development. This is a game engine. Can I say one other thing? Uh, sure. I don't even like to use the term game engine. Real time engine is, is, the, is the more proper term. Okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> this is a real time engine. Specifically, it's an engine for building theme parks. You know, these things. When rides were just moving cars, models, and sets, the tools needed were mostly sketches and models. Oh, hey, it's Walt Disney. But with all the immersion that riders now demand, the only way to prototype that is with real-time engines. That's why Michael created World Builder. The World Builder software helps you see what happens in the space. It's not just the architecture, but it's the show, the actual theatrics, the entertainment that takes place within the facility. When does this light turn on? When does this speaker fire? When does this ball of flame erupt from the ground? In the real world, you have hundreds of people working on these things, many different companies, each with their own specialization and their own scope. 
They all sort of get to the field where the thing is being built and they find mistakes. They find clashes where, you know, they didn't necessarily communicate properly with each other. That's the friction point that World Builder is really trying to ease. Congratulations to World Builder for being the first place winner of the Area 15 Rise Award. Badass.